Okay, episode 174. They really trolled us hard last episode. Or shark. Lone sharks. Yo, no. <laughs> And he's going to <laughs> even even Yorazuya. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are there still people who go to the ocean Elliot? Bakayaro. So they need to pay their debt. <laughs> and I'm assuming it all went to Pachinko or something. <laughs> oh, really? But will they, will they really be able to catch tuna with just fishing rods? Oh, is, is he the same? Is he one of those guys from that uh, previous arc? Three months? <laughs> Three months out in the sea. But I wonder how it... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I guess they have Kagura. <laughs> That's nice for the first try. <laughs> it's about guts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the, the dal that Sadaru ate before? <laughs> He's showing him in his chest. <laughs> what is this episode? <laughs> it's really like every Hasegawa episode is them trying to encourage him. And he just end up being in this, the same place all over again. <laughs> I guess this is the montage of three months of being out in sea. Oh. Three months worth of fish, I guess. I guess that's how they. <laughs> I guess at least they were able to pay off their debt. Debt. Oh, this ep that episode is over. <laughs> oh, go, yeah. Oh, you eat all you can ice cream.
Ja. <laughs> oh, I, I, I think something bad is going to happen and they might lost this job or something. Oh, they're stuck. <laughs> the elevator's not moving. I don't think that's the case. I guess I need to... And why is that other guy not reacting at all? The one who... Yeah, you're trapped. And I wonder why it isn't at the 13th floor. Usually it's the 13th floor that's uh, somewhat ominous for other. Yeah, can't she just force it open? Yeah. Everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> and why is that other guy not laughing or anything? At least now, I thought he... Oh... <laughs> so they'll be stuck here for a day. At least a night. Oh no. What hour are they going to... Uh, yeah, I don't think they'll be getting that payment from their... <laughs> I think maybe he is. <laughs> oh no, three day weekend. <laughs> but Shinbachi is, uh, is really doing well in this emergency. He's not really panicking at all. He's, I guess he's the one who's holding it together.
But I guess they could survive for a night. Oh, what's that? Is that a smoke or something? Or just they, their gloomy feeling? <laughs> They're so gloomy. I think, yeah. If I think Kag Hagor could force op force it op force open the the door of the elevator or something. And usually they could also um, exit at the top of the ele elevator. And I wonder if that's. How all elevators work. That there's an emergency exit as well. <laughs> the house. Oh no. <laughs> so I thought that those black la black fog is Really, because of the the broken electric panel that Kagura destroyed, so it's just the mood of everyone. And I guess they're not really worried about their job. I guess they were already able to get the pictures as proof for the affair. So it doesn't matter if they. It's when they will give that job, finish the job. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, did <laughs> did her did his wife left her? Gin and Kagura is their mindset is so extreme. Yeah, I guess that's one of the bad things during an emergency or uh, yeah, is panicking, losing yourself instead of uh, looking for a solution, you just panic and. Lost, 
lose sight of what's of what you could possibly still possi possibly do <laughs> yeah Shinpachi is really <laughs> holding it together for everyone magical <laughs> what's that oh, chain word chain yeah <laughs> it'll just be negative words coming out of me. I didn't even came to that. <laughs> I think that's all he ever thinks about. But I guess I understand how. I feel like in the end, it'll be Shinpachi who will definitely lose it the most. I think he'll, he'll be the one who will end up being crazy. Yeah, I guess he did say it's but still losing your family. I think that's especially for for anyone. It's still uh, outstanding that he's able to live on even after losing all, everything he had. But I think there would still be air. I guess. Oh yeah, I guess it's if it's fully enclosed. Oh, is he, is he, is he pretending to be, yeah, this is what I, what I'm wondering why they still, still not breaking the door or something. <laughs> See, how, how is it for, for these two?
<laughs> yeah, there's even there's even stairs there. So I think there there could have been really a emergency exit for the elevator. Oh. <laughs> and it opened. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and it was kinda I feel like it was somewhat out of Carol. I guess that not just out of character but out of the abilities of Gin and Kagura that I think if that I was expecting them I guess just for the situation and guess to the point that at least to uh, maybe inspire the <laughs> security guard who has lost his I guess not just I guess his plastic <laughs> but he did lost his his home so he, he got into a large debt or something so uh, it's still a really depressing thing but yeah uh, this i guess this this just this ju this episode just highlighted one of shinpachi's greatest um um i guess his one of his outstanding traits is that he is able to um to be positive in this kind of situation for gin and kagura and yeah he he tried his best to motivate the two and even though um the only way for kagor for the only way that made kagura and gin um motivated and really do anything is <laughs> when shinpachi has to pass out or something so but yeah um i think uh they also some because of that they were they have also somewhat affected the the security guard but but the, <laughs> but the punchline of the joke is that the door suddenly opened so yeah i wonder how he will inter interpret that situation but still i guess uh, gin and, and kagura still um did something instead of just um waiting around and being feeling hopeless and being depressed and yeah uh being positive really is uh will really uh matter and to really make a change it really is, it really makes a difference for a person to have that with regards to his or her perspective whether because uh, being negative all the time is really will re will really just uh, drag you down instead of um helping you to push forward unless being negative for you is somewhat uh helps you uh move forward as well so yeah but i think um the just the lesson of this episode is more about being positive and um yeah just being positive and even though in in any situation so uh, just be positive which is which which is not really easy to do especially if you're in a um, emergency or uh, um, an accident or something like that so it really depends on how strong your mindset could be because yeah um, panic really when when whenever a person is in a state of panic they lose they lose their their reasoning they lose their senses and usually um panicking also somewhat paralyzes a person so yeah uh that's uh, also that's another great uh lesson in this episode from ginta and um the first the first story was i thought that this that story and this story is somewhat connected but yeah i guess there are two dif different stories where uh, Madao and Gin are in debt again and I, I, I'm assuming it's all because of losing and gambling again so uh, but I guess in the end it turned into a, an adventure for them 
they were at least able to make something out of it they were able to experience um fishing for tuna for three months so i guess that's that's how much they owe the loan sharks so um yeah but i i i don't i don't think they would be able to catch tuna with just fishing rod but maybe i guess maybe they it depends on the skill so <laughs> but yeah they were able to catch but <laughs> but the joke in that story is that madaw is only catching those plastic dots <laughs> in the sea that uh i think we've seen that before when sadaharo ate or something and they did they did say that it's a uh, dal for uh for a specific purpose <laughs> so yeah it's a uh, it's a uh, uh it's a uh, inspiring episode i guess somewhat inspiring with the elevator and uh also with the with that first episode i guess the, the lesson in that first episode is um don't get that don't get into debt especially <laughs> if it's just going to be um uh, about uh gambling or something so because you will really have to because the, the the i guess the the be, the be, the best thing in that first episode is just that they i think maybe they're, they're like a gang or the loan sharks or something they just at least they just made them work for it instead of instead of doing something worse so yeah uh it's a lesson for everyone to try to avoid go, going in those kinds of uh especially if it's a a really high interest kind of loan so debt or something so yeah it's uh, another um unique episode of gintama and yeah there's nothing much i could say in this episode and and that uh yeah it's more about the i guess the positivity and the with the being on this adventure so if you'd like to share your thoughts on this episode just leave it in the comments down below and uh if you do enjoy watching my reaction to this episode please like this video and subscribe if this is your first time here so you'll be updated whenever i upload my reaction videos and if you want to watch my reaction to the next episode you could also do that in the link in the description down below if you will go to my patreon so and uh, if you want to request an anime reaction that is not part of my anime reaction right now you could also do that in my patreon and it will really help support this channel a lot help me continue in doing this and help me create more reaction videos like this in the future so thank you again for watching see you in my next video have a great day. Goodbye.